One of the dangers of taking out a car loan is being caught upside down in your loan. But what does that mean? Let's use this 2011 Mitsubishi Eclipse GT Coupe as an example. And let's say you bought this car new for a little over $30,000 and took out a 60-month, 5-year loan at a 6% annual interest rate. Check out what happens when we compare the resale value of the car to the remaining balance on a loan using this handy chart. You can see this blue line is the remaining balance on a loan. The red line is the resale value of the car over time. Before the fourth year in the loan, you can see there's a gap between these two lines. And that means that you owe more money on a loan than the car is worth. That is called negative equity, or being upside down on a loan. And it's okay if you're upside down if you plan on holding on to your car till the end of the loan. But what happens if you want to try to sell your car? If you did it before the fourth year of the loan, you would have to pay the lender the difference between what your car is worth and the balance remaining on your loan, which could be thousands of dollars out of your own pocket. Even worse, what if you wanted to get a new car after two years in its Mitsubishi? Well, the car dealership might roll your first upside down loan into the loan for the new car, compounding the negative equity problem. You're just shifting the negative equity to the new car loan, and you'll end up upside down in what essentially is two bad loans rolled into one. The bottom line is to make sure that you don't get into this situation in the first place. Try putting down a larger down payment, shortening the length or the term of your loan, and finding a car with a high resale value. Even better, take a look at buying a used car that doesn't depreciate as much. If you're already in an upside down situation and need to get out, you could look into refinancing your car loan, or better yet, save up to pay off the difference. If you can just hold on until the value of the car is closer to the remaining loan balance, that's the best solution in this situation. So in less than two minutes, you just got smarter about upside down car loans, how to avoid them and how to get out of it if you're already in one. For more information about these kind of loans or on other financial topics, visit our website at 2minutefinance.com. I'm Bobby Lee with 2 Minute Finance. Thanks for watching.